Okay, real quickly, <clears throat> this is what I have on there now. All right, let's hear the, these, and then the difference it makes to play it uh, on the acoustic with the uh, Earth Woods. Okay? And the guitar is the ES339, and I'll play it in stereo for you, right? And uh, this uh, checker cable is into the, stere the uh, uh, stereo uh, magnetic uh, side of it, and the uh, black is into the mono uh, nano mag pup, okay? So it blends those all together. Line 6 Amplify 150 on its clean channel on the uh, uh, preset channels and the 4 force, which is the acoustic on the uh, 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 for the acoustic setup on full, right? This is the, the line 6 is on all clean. This is all clean, except it, it uh, acts like a uh, what you call it, a uh, two map, and it gives gain to it when you turn it all the way up and play it hard. Okay, so I've uh, tuned this down twice, once with a uh, separate tuner, once with the built-ins. Oh yeah, this has a built-in tuner to it that's up here. You see that, right, when I tune it. It also indicates uh, what pickup is on. That's on the uh, uh, stereo, uh, stereo setup with the uh, humbuckers and the nano and that's just with the nano okay and that's just with the uh, uh, humbuckers so you can choose whatever you want to choose now the thing is the uh, uh, acoustic gives a, a hiss to it went all the way up on your ass because it's like an acoustic hiss right so it's kind of you know not too uh, hard to understand <laughs> Okay, this is the plan. Both pickups. This is the um, electric, right? This is just A. Right? And that's just the uh, 150. That's not playing the uh, nano. Okay, this is with both of them. A little difference, huh? This is just the uh, a nano. sustain to it, right? Good sustain. It's with both of them again. Just the Nano. Again, that's just with the uh, uh, nano pickup, the uh, acoustic pickup. Let's try that tuner again. All in tune. Okay. So it does a pretty good job. Uh, uh, 
I've got the uh, back of this thing set up on 50-50 on the treble bass and gain, so. Let's take that bass down and see what we come up with. And that's where your pickup is, obviously. And here's where both of them are. So they're all kicking. So that's it in a nutshell. All the uh, uh, chords and the setup on this little guitar, right? And I think I paid five ninety nine for it when it first came out because they gave me a discount on it. It's got a couple of uh, oh, a couple of tiny flaws in it. Uh, Anyway, no big deal for me. I'd rather save the 200 bucks. And I buy quite a lot of things from them anyway. So hang in there. I'm going to switch over the strings and I'll add that up and show you, or let you listen to, uh, the guitar when it's playing, uh, you know, the Earthwood strings, right? And how they sound. <clears throat> and there might be a mixture of the two that finally, you know, calls the shots. I don't know, it'll be a mixture of these on the uh, <clears throat> 10 through. Uh, uh, what you call it, 10 through 17, and maybe the uh, others, you know, with these wound strings, they're meant for acoustics. We'll see. Hang in there. Okay, I've got a couple of choices here that I can use on this guitar uh, in case the strings are too wide uh, to fit within the nut, okay? I've got this uh, tusk nut, this plastic and bone mixed together. You can see it's been cut, but it's been cut for tens, okay? All right, but I've got uh, a brass nut that's opened up wider that can fit uh, these wide strings. I'm pretty sure they can, I have to find out. That's a good fit on this guitar, okay. Yeah, it's pretty close. And I've got a bone pre-cut, right? Or almost pre-cut, it still needs some work on it. I'm pretty sure it'll fit, see it's real tight, but yeah, that'll fit as well. Put that bone nut in there and get a more brighter sound to it you follow me okay guys i uh, just finished putting on the earth woods on this guitar as you can see right they're wound to the four string and as soon as i play it's going to go out of tune so don't talk about the tune talk about the tone of it okay that's what we're after here the tone wow <laughs> that's a lot different okay almost near impossible to pull it but listen this does sound more like an acoustic in this uh, tune okay. that's all acoustic now okay all just on that now this is all a stereo uh, what you call it humbuckers It is a lot uh, more muted than it was with the uh, uh, electric uh, strings on it. More jazzy sounding. Uh, I got the treble all the way up, so that shouldn't be it.
that's what it sounds like with these strings on it. Yeah, it does sound more towards the uh, uh, you know acoustic, but uh, not 100 percent amplified. <laughs> So, uh, I don't know where to go from here, uh, you know, it's got definitely that uh, uh, high uh, clang to it, like an acoustic sound. That's the uh, a nano, right? Okay. That's with both of them. Okay, so that's the sound that it makes with these uh, earthwoods. Medium lights, right? And give that acoustic sound, that's what you're going to get. Now, I'm not sure about Pizio, uh, if they'll sound the same or not, but uh, this sounds pretty close to one of my amplified uh, acoustic guitars, like my uh, Yamaha that's amplified. That ovation I've got sounds a little bit different. Of course, it's you know different anyway, so get a bowl behind it. But uh, I want us to play on this to let you get an idea of what it sounds like. But, uh, you know, you can't pull strings on this thing, not with these 12s on here. Not much. <laughs> now, with the two pickups, all three, well, all three pickups together sounds pretty good. Stereo uh, humbuckers, well, through even through my stereo and this stereo, so I got more uh, bass turned up on the uh, treble. You know? Not bad though. You can live with that. Which reminds me, it's time to change out that nine volt. Anyway, I hope this helps you with your uh, guitar. If uh, you think these uh, strings would help, it sure helps this one. And not 100%, not that, you know, it's, it's kind of close to my Yamaha, uh, which is like 60, 50 years old with the uh, uh, Fishman uh, 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 preamp in it. So it sounds a lot like that. Coming through that, uh, uh, what you call it, practice amp, that 4-4 four -four amp, that tube amp. There it goes breaking down again. <laughs> 
That's why I like that little amp. It definitely responds like a tube amp. So, if any questions, give me a holler. Uh, I'll try to help you about this, but uh, I, tell you what I, say, I do want to see what yours sounds like, or hear what it sounds like, uh, when you put yours on, okay? If you, you know, decide to do it. So, have a good one, and I hope that helps you make a decision on yours, okay? See ya.